The Bible tells us that three of Cush's children's name were Sebaa, Sebeteha, and Sebeteka, and one of his granddaughter's name was Sheba. Also, one of uh, Shem's great 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 granddaughter's name was Sheba, who was the daughter of uh, Jokta. Therefore, both of them were uh, Africans because Cush was Sudan while Shem was in uh, Mizraim or Egypt. Uh, therefore, they are uh, both named uh, Sheba because they came uh, to Ethiopia. And in ancient time, in the biblical Hebrew, Ethiopia was Sheba. But uh, Western historians and filmmakers, they make them look like they are Arabs. And we don't challenge them because they are technologically more advanced than we are. And there are historical documents that were stolen and destroyed by the Babylonians, by the Romans, and by the Arabic invasion of Egypt, Israel, and Ethiopia. During the Babylonian invasion, they changed the biblical Hebrew into Aramaic. And during the Roman invasion, they changed it into Greek. And during Arab invasion, they changed it into Arabic. And you can see that, uh, you can imagine that uh, so many documents will be destroyed and so many information, so many, uh, the, the way they pronounce it, uh, the meanings will change through all this change of languages and uh, people. Uh, and, uh, you know, in Rome, the capital, uh, the capital of the Catholic Christians. They have accumulated and locked up stolen documents, historical documents. But now archaeology uh, excavated in Egypt, Israel, and Ethiopia, it shows that uh, most of the biblical Hebrew, the story starts in Ethiopia and it goes through Sudan and Egypt into Israel. So. Um, um, most of the ancient uh, biblical uh, characters were black. That's what the excavated uh, evidences show. So what do you think? Please comment and also share and subscribe. Thank you.